Alrighty guys, it's about 3.30 on a, on a Monday. I gotta head off to work, even though I really gotta take a dump, but I guess I'll do that at work. Um, been having a couple problems with my car, my G6. Oh, oh, it just farted again, big time. Okay, so I mentioned that the suspension was, was sounding weird, but now I question what the problem is the suspension. I'm getting this metal on metal crunching sound whenever I go over a bump. I looked it up online and I couldn't really find anything because they keep referring to things that don't make sense. But uh, we're going to do a drive to work today, a little rolling vlog, and hopefully the camera will pick it up. Luckily it's warm enough outside where I shouldn't even be wearing this jacket, but I am anyway because I'm an idiot. But uh, yeah, we're going to do a rolling vlog and uh, going to see if you guys can hear the noise too. Make sure I got my cell phone on me I do got my e-darts so let's get the fuck out of here and go see what's really going on in the world of tomorrow oh, you guys want to see something awesome yesterday I attacked all this snow I attacked it attacked it with the shovel I did and it's all gone and uh, I did the same in the backyard over here I cleared it all out by attacking it with the shovel and things so that's all gone we still have uh, Lake Vlogging Life in the backyard here. Yeah, Lake Vlogging Life. Not a big deal. It'll drought out. But uh, my backyard, she's like completely uncovered. Ball rig, yeah. Never thought this day would come. Just friggin' barking out the bum here. Frig sakes. Front yard is uh, a sloppy friggin' mess. Yep. Just a sloppy friggin' mess. I have no idea what the heck this stuff is, some sort of a leafage, and uh, this is where they dug up the shit. And then what we're going to do one of these days is come out here with the hard garden rake and just rake everything up, just rake it all up, and then we'll bucket it or garbage can it, and I'm probably going to fire it back in the uh, in the backyard there by the big tree because uh, that's the perfect composting spot because I don't care about back there and then I need to dig out all those raspberry bushes so they never grow back again because that's friggin annoying big times all right well just wanted to check on the tire pressure looks good looks good and looks good and looks good let's see if I can get the sound to happen by pushing down on the car fuck suspension's so stiff can't even push down on the car oh frig it get the hell out of here what I'm gonna have to do is um, get my spring jacket out oh vroom 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 freaking started up of course it did what else was it gonna do but uh, let's see if we can get this car to make the noises it used to make frig yeah oh she's just a doom and gloom day on this sun uh, this Monday yup there can you hear that Every time the strut compresses, it sounds like it's like... It sounds like metal on metal. I don't understand it. But, um... There's definitely something wrong with the front end of this car. I don't know if it's critical or if it's just the shitty suspension. I thought it was Monroe, but I checked and apparently they didn't sell me Monroe. They sold, sold me some friggin' pig iron. Chinese brand, brand friggin' uh, struts for this car. They only have a one year warranty. They don't have the lifetime warranty. I'm kind of upset. I thought they were giving me Monroe's. I just checked the receipt and no. No, they aren't. They didn't. Sons of bitches. But like. Every time I hit a bump, it sounds all crunchy and gooey. Like, oh, this car just pisses me off. I'm telling you, people, the moment I find out that this uh, we're not for sale and we're staying, I'm going out and I'm picking up something better. <coughs> kind of, sort of considering a um, Honda Civic, to be honest with you. Like, I'd like a truck or an SUV or something, but. I've been looking at the Honda Civics and they get stupid fuel mileage, they're pretty quick, stock, like they got like 180 horse into them, that's more than what I need, so you know, when you got to get out of Dodge, you can just drop the hammer and go, and um, you know, that'll make it chew up more fuel obviously, because every time you drop the hammer, she just gurgles it back, but, but, if you're just driving conventionally, you can go for years on a tank of gas. Well, probably not, but still. Oh, freak six! Yesterday was 420, eh? Oh shit! Meanwhile, you guys are watching some May 1st. Oh, 
Holy, buddy's driving a Mazda, Mazda 2, the uh, Ford Fiesta clone, if you will. The Ford Fiesta clone. Got a huge ass friggin' spoiler onto the bum. You know, hood scoop onto the hood. Like, holy, is that the Mazda 2 Speed Edition? Got a turbo under there. I know Ford does. Ford has the Ford Fiesta SC Callis, that version. And uh, it's got like the uh, 200 horsepower, 1.8 liter turbo on there. It's like ridiculous. If I were to get a Ford Fiesta, I'd really like that one there because holy shit, would that ever get me into trouble? You know? Right now, my biggest concern is waiting and see what happens with this job. If we lose it, if we keep it, if the sale goes through or what. And then, if we lose it and I have to move, then, well, I'll keep this thing for another year. Just put some money into fixing it up. And, uh, and shit. And then, uh, go from there. But if we end up keeping the job, then I want something better on fuel so I can go down and visit Bloke a little bit more than ever, you know? Like, uh, last year, you know, I, I didn't have anybody to stop me from going down except for the fact that I had Puppy and I couldn't really do anything with Puppy. Mind you, I could always pay a, a kennel to take him. Like there's uh, sleep overnights, uh, kennel places. There's one over on, on Main Street. My aunt really, really recommended it because when they went to, uh, they went somewhere. Oh, dick, this guy's coming in hot. Come on in. Come on in, the water's, the water's oh, for fuck's sakes. This is, this is why I hate humans. But, um, yeah, anyway. Um, she said it's really good. They're good to her Pomeranian. And, you know, if the dog's a real good puppy, they let the puppy sleep in the house with them. And if not, then the well, prick gets caged, you know. But Oreo's a good puppy. He's kind of weary around strangers and stuff at first, but all it takes is a slice of bacon and he's your best friend. So he's pretty easy to tame, you know. Just give him some food and he'll hump your leg. But, um, what the f okay. There's a guy turning. I'll let it go. I almost lost my shit. I don't know. Now the car's not crunching anymore. It was fine all winter. Fine all winter. Didn't make a single sound. And now that it's like warming up, now the car's creaking and moaning. So I question if I just need to like, yeah, I don't know, like lube up the suspension or something, if that's something you're supposed to do. I'll have to look that up online. Like she's due for an oil change. Well, not yet, but uh, 100 and, or 132,000 kilometers for the oil change. And I'm at 131,000. But they wanted me to go September 2013 for my oil change. And I don't go by the date, I go by the time, because the way I see it is, why would oil sitting in my engine degrade just sitting in my engine? It's not like milk, it's not gonna curdle. If the oil still looks clean, feels clean and all that, then why waste your time swapping it out? It doesn't make sense, you know? That, and I'm tempted to do the oil change myself this time, now that I got the whole front end of the garage cleaned out. Oh, hey, that wouldn't I see in better days. But, um, well, that was a Nissan. I apologize. But I'm tempted that just to pull it into the garage, jack up the front end, put a jack stand underneath it, get underneath, yank the fucking bolt out, drop the oil myself. I got enough oil at home to uh, restock this thing, but I want to put some Mobile One into her. And, um, because that's on sale right now. Crappy for like 20 bucks gets you a 5 liter tub or 4.8 liter, whatever it is. So I'm thinking about doing that and then just friggin', you know, having my own oil change done by me and that way there I know it was done right and, well, not right, but whatever. It's cheaper. Jesus Christ, that Hyundai. That Genesis with its big fart can, so loud, lets everybody know where he is. I don't know if you can see the fart can onto it. Let's get a little zoomage. Can you, maybe a little anglage. Can you, can you see the fart can? Look at the size of the fart can. It's massive. Just a massive fart can onto that thing. I can't believe it. Like, why would that people think that's awesome? It sounds like shit. I don't think that sounds good. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm 35. I used to have a fart can on my old car. 
I had the old uh, Ford Focus there and she had a fart can onto it. I didn't really think it sounded all that awesome. I just did it because the, uh, the fart can on the Focus was part of the rice experience. See, around here a lot of people will buy like a Honda Civic and put body kits and fart cans and big stupid spoilers that do nothing onto it and all sorts of different things, you know, like big rims and but then the engine's still producing stock power. They never once modify the engine. The most modifications I ever saw done to an engine around here was somebody put a Canadian tire cone filter on it that was pretty in red onto their car and called it a cold air intake. Meanwhile, all they did was delete the air box and just stab it on there and be like, yeah, cold air intake. And it's like, no, it doesn't work that way. You're, now you're sucking up super hot engine air. And if anything, you're actually, you're probably diminishing your performance because now you're bringing in super hot air and the engine goes, oh, this air is really hot. So we got to tame her down and um, bye bye horsepower torque, you know, but welcome to fuel economy because now the air is so hot that the, the engine doesn't have to drop as much fuel to atomize it, but you're going to lose performance. Holy dick. I feel like I'm going to lose a fucking tire or a ball joint or something. Ah, we'll find out when we take this car to blokes. <laughs> Surprised the mechanic last year didn't. I told him, I said, look over the entire car and find any problems and let me know and we'll get them fixed. And he's like, yeah, I got your back, Jack. Bitches be crazy. And then, sure as shit, I get the car back, the suspension in, and fucking the, the brakes are on and it's, it's no different than before. It's like, wow, I just wasted $500 for what? put new suspension in and the car still sounds like a bucket of shit. It's like bottom end wants to let go. I, I, I don't understand. I think this thing's just riddled with shit. It just needs to be gone. But I can't make any moves. I don't want to spend any money until I know what the frick is going on with my future, you know? So I might have to hunker down and, uh, and replace some bits on here to keep it going. Listen. Uh, isn't that a great sound? Sounds like she's just gonna fucking fall apart on me. Yup, she's a piece of shit. I don't know, maybe GM invented the G6 to uh, make it not be a piece of shit, but this one here sure is like, but then again, it's got 131,000 clicks onto it and everything's probably falling apart for me to fix. So whatevs, you know, it is the way she goes. But I figured I would do that video. Hopefully uh, you can hear that noise and somebody out there in YouTube land can tell me what the frig is going on. But um, I'm probably going to have to get into a mechanic before you guys even see this video and get it looked at and figured out and fixed and all that jazz. Son of a bitch, eh? Yeah. But anyway, people, there you go. Friggin' uh, another one of these vlogs of mine. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging. Thank <laughs> you.